Hello everyone, today I am going to create this curved and flared staircase using the create sketch stair command. In the next tutorial, I will place the railing on this staircase. Subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss it. There are some other tutorials related to staircase and railing available on my channel. The link to the playlist is given below. If you have any query or difficulty, you can ask me anytime. So now let's start. Open a new architectural template file in Revit and then click on the stair command and from here you can select uh, any type of staircase you want. I'm going to keep it monolithic so from here you can change the number of risers. Uh, let's keep it 20 and the height of each riser is going to be 6 inches. Then click on this create sketch and from here you can see that there are three types of uh, parts for the staircase the boundary riser and the stair path so first of all i'm going to create the boundary for the staircase as shown in the video the boundary lines appear in green color so after you have uh, play, uh, placed the boundary lines select this riser and start placing them like this they appear to be in black color so one by one i'm going to place uh, these riser lines like this uh, let's keep it perpendicular like this then delete this one again create an offset of one feet and place the riser line like this so in this manner keep on placing uh, these perpendicular lines like this and from here you can see that the total number of risers and the risers you have created so now i am going to place the risers of a different shape uh, the threads for a different shape as shown Now uh, it trim the boundary lines from the second thread as shown and after that I am going to create some more detail of the first thread as shown in the video. so now the boundary lines and the risers are complete i have placed 20 i have placed 20 risers and the boundary lines appear to be in green color so now i have to uh, define the stair path for that i have selected the r command and place it like this then click ok again click ok
now select this staircase and click on this arrow so that the up arrow appears on the other side it has been created on uh, the opposite direction so now yeah it, it appears great now let's go to 3d and i don't know why this issue has occurred but i am going to keep the stay break the staircase again that uh, the other one okay now i'm going to delete these stringers and also delete these now select and click on this edit type and from here create a duplicate settings click ok and from here from this dialog box you can change the settings the profiles the materials of these threads and risers let's give it the material of mahogany to the to each thread and riser Uh, you can change the thread thickness the riser thickness in within this dialog box let's give the thread thickness as four inches and you can see the detail here you can if you want you can also remove the risers from the staircase like this or you can change the thickness for the risers let's make it two inches so yeah it appears to be like this then you can also change the profiles for the uh, threads and the risers you can change its nosing uh, i have not explained that in this tutorial but i will create a separate tutorial of how to change the nosing profiles of the threads and but, but by default it has this uh, profile and if you want you can remove the profile altogether by clicking on this default here you can also change uh, the uh, placements of the profile for example i am going to place it on the front left and right so you can see in the video how the profile is changing its positions and let's keep join the risers and the threads from here so you can experiment and create uh, different changes in within your staircase design from this dialog box
in the level 1 floor plan select this staircase and create a mirror copy of it like this then create the floor then create a floor which connects these two staircase using the floor command here i am creating the boundary lines change the placement position of this floor to level 2 and let's change its height offset so that is a, it meets the staircase you can also uh, use the move command to move this floor In the 3D drop view, edit the boundary lines of the floor. Like this. So that's all for today. In the next tutorial, I will place railing on the staircase. And I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. I will meet you guys in the next tutorial. Till then, goodbye and take care. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.